Mad Nation, S Gibbs here for another exciting edition. It is not your den, it is not my den, but it is the Mad Den, aka the Laser Show, the internet's most passionate show about John Madden, NFL 12 football. Kicking off with the Bang Show 204, uh, talking about the Miami Dolphins zone beating formation. Uh, talking today about the trips tight end is the formation we're going to talk about. And the reason I like this formation so much is that we're going to have a uh, man beating for side of the formation and then an all-out zone attacking formation on the other side. So we have a trips on one side, a tight end on one side, and then a halfback in motion out to attack man coverage to the right side. And then, of course, we have our zone attacking scheme on the left side. Uh, that's what makes this formation so intriguing and so, uh, so effective. Um, typically, you know, a bunch set is compressed. And you don't get the spacing that you always want. I mean, bunch is good. It's my favorite way to attack zone. But what's unique about this is the spacing that trips tight end creates causes a problem for the defense. So we take a look at that. We'll jump in. We're going to get in right away. Um, getting ready for the MG Comedy uh, show tonight. Heading over to that. Oh, my, my man Gary V. No big deal. Remember this? Remember that show? If I saw it, wherever it is, on the inside cover. I don't know where it is, but the guy signed my book. It was pretty cool. Um, so there's the zoomy zoom. I zoom, zoom, zoom. I zoom, zoom, zoom. Um, open challenge to anybody. If you have a good red deck and magic cards, I will take you on. We can play. I don't know. We'll stream it or something. And we'll, I'll take you on. I'll, uh, I'm not afraid. Uh, so the play I'm talking about here is Flood. Uh, from the trips tight end. And let's talk about the zone coverage. Uh, here we come out on a covered tray. So, first and foremost, the basic setup of this play is going to be the following. Streak, or slant out Fasano. Plays Bush on a drag. So, for example, say if it is man-to-man, -man, so man-to-man -man coverage, you would just motion Bush out, and you're creating a, a little high low read here. The inside release by Bush is going to help you attack man coverage on a consistent, consistent, consistent basis. Uh, so here it is again. You cannot bump and run Fasano unless you user bump him. But you're going to have to worry about Bush so much there that you're going to leave that backside slant to Fasano, your tight end, open. The slants are very effective this year against man coverage. And that's where we're creating that interesting scenario. We're saying, okay, well, you can come out and start playing zone coverage. That's fine. Play zone coverage. Um, and that's what we want them to do from this formation. If they do play zone coverage with that route combination, we now do this. Now we have on the left side, and that's where we attack with their zone coverage. Now, if the flat zone doesn't get out there quick enough, we can deliver that ball to that flat route. Well, that's what I also like about this, uh, this formation. You have to slide this zone out there to defend that, and then you're going to have to slide him over there and then you're gonna have to slide him over there right so now you have to keep moving guys all over the place and that's fine with the way this play is designed I'm gonna be able to attack the zone regardless of the position of their defenders there there it is he breaks the sideline I deliver that pass wow best didn't even catch it but take a take a look at this route combination here so what's happening here is this flat route by uh, Heartline is gonna drag the flat defender and occupy him in the flat so he's defended against. Now our deep vertical route is going to pull the deep coverage away, as you see here. And then what happens is we run a route that's going to sit directly behind our flat route and open into open space against that cover three. So see how that all, all that open space, that route is going to be wide open there, completely open, and for whatever reason, Devon Bess just did not catch it. So we're, what we're doing again here is just a, a, a flood. We're flooding the defense in that area. And if I was a, if I was a, a zone... I would want to put a purple zone over there to try and defend that that um, that out route. So that's how I would probably defend it. I would probably put a purple zone over there and see if I can get the def defense to defend it properly there. So here I motion out Bush. If it's man, I make my read. Okay, zone, 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 zone. And then what happens is when they put that purple route there, now that drag route opens into space against the zone defense. So you kind of see how it all comes together. So yes, they can put the purple route there to t take that defender away, but now they leave him open. Now they're going to leave him open, and that becomes a problem. So then you could say, well, what if they use your bush here? But they do use your bush, now they're going to leave open this slant to the sideline open. And, I mean, you're just going to have a lot of problems. You're going to have a lot of problems defending this play. I would take it even a step further, and I would leave Fasano on his route there, uh, because Fasano's res responsibility on the original assignment of this play is to do the following, right? So what's going to happen here is that, so Dansby say, so Wake is going to be match up and take Heartline and go to the flat, take him away. Dansby's going to match up with Best, take that route away. Marshall's going to match up uh, against Smith here, and that route's going to be taken away. So what's going to happen now is Fasano's route 
takes him on this path here. He takes him here, 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 and then into this open space here where this defender who's on the purple route should have been on the yellow zone. So this yellow zone will take away that original route by Fasano, but because he's hot routed to stop the best route, he will no longer do that. Now, the motion out here, here's the motion. The motion's going to keep him honest that they're going to have to defend that. Motion bush, motion him out, snap throw. You have the underneath route to bush, but I also have that underneath route to Fasano as he hits that corner, and you cannot defend all those flooding options. So the Fasano route is good if they start hot riding the purple routes in there. I could have hit it right there as well. I could definitely hit it there. But see how that yellow zone, the deep blue wants to step up and protect that, but it can't. It's just too deep. Now, the yellow zone should be right there, but now Fasano's going to clear into space. The purple's occupied by Bess's route, and then we just fit that route in right there to Fasano on the sideline. Easy completion. But they also take a look at what we have. We have Bush coming underneath as well there. See how Bush is coming in there underneath? Boom. So that's how that play works the flood zone. So really, ultimately, I mean, in theory, you should not get stopped when you're running this play. That's, I mean, not against zone coverage. Against, I mean, pressure is you're going to be your bugaboo because you're going to have to call out the pressure. Um, the one thing I will say about this is that more times than not, you're not going to see pressure on the tight end or halfback side because they're going to be so afraid that you can pick up the pressure easily. They're going to be forced to bring stop the pressure elsewhere. So really, this formation should be run like this to the right side so you can kind of roll into the end of that area. Um, Matt Moore just can't, Matt Moore just isn't good at that. Um, that was a terrible throw. So here, example, Misi's over there, the zone's over there. Now I take Bush, motion Bush over, snap here. Now I read, I read, I read, I read, and then I deliver that ball. See how Fasano comes into that open space where that purple route, the purple route is trying to defend that route to the out route, but again, that, that Fasano route now clears in the space where that zone should be because we're taking away. But then look at the high-low read we're creating for that defender here. Who's this defender supposed to cover? Fasano or Bush? He's, he's right in the middle. So you're creating an interesting dynamic. You're creating a, a, a great flow of routes, and it will get a little congested as you get closer to the sideline, but that's why you have that flow of routes. So you have the initial push to the sideline, and then you have the second push coming over here. And let's not forget the deep route, too, because that's a great route as well to stretch the defense vertically. So... Um, Overall, I really, really love this play. There's a lot of things that you can do with it. A lot of ways you attack that zone coverage. Underneath coverage, underneath coverage. They jump the bush route, which I could have hit Fasano. I bet if I do that again, let's see if I have Fasano open up because they're going to jump the underneath bush route. So here's the route to bush. Bush comes in, bush comes in. And then that route to Fasano. Ooh, nice play by the backer. But that route to Fasano opened up. But if, if that's the case, if that yellow zone stays there, I make the easiest throw of my life right here to, to Devon Bess. Easiest throw of my life. Just deliver that ball right there. Bang. Easy first down. So, a lot of things you can do with this play. I so really like this play a lot. Uh, this is a zone beater from the Miami Dolphins Playbook Show 204. As always, guys, we are changing the Madden community. And we are doing it. One snap. One snap at a time.